Mike McGarry, President of Friends of the Car Refuge. We promote the conservation of marine turtles and habitat within the Archie Carr National Wildlife Refuge and promote activities such as education, scientific partnerships, and civic activities essential for the mission of the refuge. The Archie Carr Refuge spans 20.5 miles of shoreline between Melbourne Beach and Wabasso Beach on Florida's Atlantic coast. Established in 1991, the refuge was named for the late Dr. Archie Carr Jr. in honor of his extraordinary efforts toward marine turtle conservation. The refuge was designated to protect the most significant loggerhead sea turtle nesting habitat in the world and also the most significant green turtle nesting habitat in North America. National wildlife refuges do not engage in fundraising activities to meet their own needs, but instead rely on nonprofit organizations such as Friends of the Car Refuge. Our organization has raised thousands of dollars to support activities such as marine turtle monitoring and research, and also funding a part-time intern to assist the small refuge staff. Unaffected by the coronavirus, the sea turtles are having a good nesting season during 2020 in the car refuge. The loggerheads appear certain to exceed 16,000 nests to achieve one of the top four years since 2000. Greens often alternate between high years and low years. 2020 was expected to be a low year, but more than 9,000 nests seems probable, far higher than any low year in the past. 51 leatherbacks nested in the refuge in 2020. Not a record, but a good showing. Tropical storm Isaias passed these beaches offshore on August 2, 2020, with relatively small losses of turtle nests and hatchlings. With total nest counts virtually certain to exceed 26,000, the Archie Carr National Wildlife Refuge has once again demonstrated that its protected habitat is valuable to nesting sea turtles. We express our sincere appreciation to the University of Central Florida Marine Turtle Research Group, Sebastian Inlet State Park, and Ecological Associates for their efforts to monitor nests and record the associated data. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the Friends of the Car Refuge were unable to host the nighttime nesting turtle walks in June and July, nor the daytime turtle digs in August and September. Turtle digs usually draw around 30 attendees and begin with a presentation of basic turtle information. Each turtle dig includes a nest excavation, which starts with locating a nest emergence. The primary objective of nest excavations permitted by Florida Fish and Wildlife is to measure the hatching success. The data from each excavation reported in Florida is entered into a state database and available to researchers. Much can be learned about turtle nesting from nest excavations. Trained volunteers walk the beach searching for hatchling tracks. When the tracks are found, they're followed up the beach in hopes of locating the emergence location. On the first night of a nest emergence, perhaps 60% of the hatchlings climb out of the nest and head to the water. So the volunteers are looking for a first night emergence on the previous night that shows the tracks of many hatchlings. This distinct pattern in the sand will be marked by stakes. Note that the volunteer normally places the stake at arm's length away from the emergence hole to avoid destroying any eggs. Usually three nests are marked, just in case some are not productive. Volunteers return three days later to perform a nest excavation. Careful hand digging is required to find the egg chamber, usually 30 inches below the ground. The eggs are first placed in a sieve to remove the sand and then conveyed to a blue tarp for evaluation and counting. Unlike many bird eggs, sea turtle eggs remain largely in one piece after the hatchling emerges. Most eggs will clearly show that a hatchling emerged and departed. Some will show that the hatching never occurred. Perhaps the eggs were not fertile. Some dead hatchlings may be found that were just not strong enough to survive. Our volunteers often find a few live hatchlings that have not emerged after three days. For the healthy ones, we are allowed to help those reach the sea. The lethargic ones will be transported to the Turtle Hospital at the Brevard Zoo. 
When the counting is completed and the report data collected, everything that was taken from the nest, except live hatchlings, if any, is returned to the nest and buried. The specific results of each nest excavation will be recorded and submitted. While the nest excavations conducted by Friends of the Car Refuge are done primarily for public education, many others will be done by the nest monitoring organizations in the refuge. If nest predation is considered high, the refuge will take measures to reduce the predation. Usually the excavations show hatching success in excess of 80%. Our guests are pleased to observe this process and learn about the importance that these beaches provide for turtle nesting and survival. The Friends of the Car Refuge organization is hopeful that turtle walks and turtle digs will resume for the 2021 nesting season. Hi, I'm Vince Lamb. I'm a member of the Board of Directors of the Friends of the Car Refuge and also a, uh, a Turtle Scout uh, lead volunteer. The coronavirus pandemic has prevented us from conducting turtle walks and turtle digs during the 2020 season. Both of these activities provide us with, with donations and memberships to the Friends of the Car Refuge. As a result, our donations and memberships are down more than 50% compared to 2019. Would you consider making a donation or joining the Friends of the Car Refuge to help us continue fulfilling our mission? We are so fortunate to have this special nesting place in East Central Florida where the sea turtles have nested for thousands of years. The efforts of the National Wildlife Service to protect this beach are greatly appreciated, as well as the help from many partners. The success of the 2020 sea turtle nesting season reflects upon many people who have worked to protect and preserve these beaches.